Surgeon Ihor Kolodka's team was in the middle of surgery on a five-month-old child at Okmatid's Children's Hospital in central Kyiv on Monday when air raid sirens sounded. I was standing this side. We were mid-surgery when the explosion rang out. The glass shattered and the explosion wave swept us up. I was thrown under the table. My colleague was thrown back, as were our surgical nurse and our anesthesiologist. They were thrown into a cupboard and into the wall. The UN said on Tuesday there was a high likelihood the hospital took a direct hit from a Russian missile during a series of airstrikes on Ukrainian cities which killed at least 44 people. Two adults were killed at Okmatid and dozens wounded. The Kremlin has said without providing evidence that it was Ukrainian anti-missile fire which struck the hospital. Everyone in the surgery room survived but many were bleeding with shattered glass everywhere. Ivanov's colleague grabbed the manual resuscitator to keep the baby breathing after the ventilator stopped working. Worried the ceiling might collapse, some members of the team ran to the basement with the child. Thank God the child wasn't hurt at all. We wrapped the child up so that everything was sterile. And as my colleague was standing with his back to the window, the shrapnel hit him and therefore not the child. We joked that he took the hit with his back, and I took it with my face. In the basement, they brought the baby back to consciousness and handed him over to a team of doctors to continue the surgery at another hospital. Only then did Ivanov remove the shards of glass in his own face before rushing outside to help soldiers sift through the rubble of the destroyed toxicology building. Hundreds of volunteers have started to repair the hospital, clearing broken glass, rubble and damaged equipment.